Hello everybody, this is Mom in Minecraft, aka Ashburn. Um, going to be kind of doing a let's play this se season instead of the uh, complete the monument type map. Uh, I never did finish the Hills of Moo. I realized that it was going to take forever to find black or brown and uh, so we gave up on that. Anyways, this is uh, what I'm playing. Uh, I'll put the seed in the comments because I can't remember what it is. It's the same one that Monkey Farm is using for his third Let's Play World. And when you first uh, get on, you're in the woods, although I, so this general area I've kind of destroyed the woods because uh, we've been playing on this for a while. But if you go, let's see, the sun was up there. So if you go that way, um, you'll find a village. So Obviously, as you can see, the amount of work we've done, uh, we've been working for a while. I have the kids are helping with this. And uh, that's my cow farm for leather um, so that we can make books and enchant the books. Um, and uh, Simi Craft was doing something up here with uh, automated, automated whatever with the cow breeding or something or other, but. I think I might have to take it down. It's it's ugly and it's not working and it's blocking my staircase. It's annoying. Ugh. Um, but uh, this is what we did when we first got in here. This was the blacksmith's little house and so we kind of took it over. We had to put an iron door because the villagers were in this area and they kept coming into our house which was getting to be annoying because they are always opening and closing the doors so we kind of just set up a little area here um, and we have a basement we're in the middle of making a sub basement as well um, the first basement is the portal to the nether um, and we don't keep it lit because it's really annoying because it's just one level down um, and if you go down one more level we need to go back to the nether and get some more of the nether brick because um, obviously our floor is not completed and this is going to be our brewing area although I might get the kids to move that uh, nether portal down and put the nether portal down below and then have this as the brewing room I don't know, I haven't decided yet um, so that's the first floor and the sub basement and the basement and then the second floor is where we keep kind of all of our goodies and we each have our own bed um, and uh, Let's see, this is kind of the, some of the stuff we found, the gold, lapis, emeralds, um, diamonds, which we've been using some, obsidian, uh, just keep random stuff in there. Um, we have an entire chest full of uh, redstone, plus some. Um, it's just some of the things that we've been doing and whatnot. And then the upper level here, we have made um, the enchantment room, and this is where I've been putting the... Uh, our leather. Where's my leather? There's the leather and the books and then we enchanted some books and actually we got a couple of music discs from uh, well, I guess the skeletons hitting the creepers. Um, so then what we did is we combined uh, before we put the fence the whole way around the city, the village here, uh, we had a lot of creatures uh, so we didn't want to like walk out so if you walked right out onto the main floor, there were always creepers and zombies and whatnot. So we came across, because this is right next door, and then we made this kind of the escape area. Um, and then this is, I think that's uh, Simi and his sister right now share a, a user account. And so she uh, puts her stuff up there when, they're, when they've traded off. Um, and they stole some stuff out of here. This is, I guess, the the church, I guess, building is what that would be. And so we connected it over there. Um, we had to fence in. This is our private little private garden that we fenced in to keep the villagers and everything out. Um, except for the cows that I have in that pen down there, uh, the rest of our animals are free range. We just kind of let them wander around. Uh, and they would destroy our private little garden. So we've left that. Uh, we haven't finished lighting. Uh, as you can see, we did some with the jack-o'-lanterns. Um, we added more doors where they were needed and all that. And then, of course, there's torches. 
I don't know why this had to be right in the middle, so we put trap doors so you could actually walk across it and have to go around it. Um, and then Simi actually has added some more buildings here so that we would get more villagers. Um, as this village was weird, so we do have a a uh, iron golem, and this is his. He calls it Ashfern Tower at the very top. When I get further away, you can see it was basically a little apartment building that he created. And the villagers actually do come and go. It's pretty funny. Um, ugh, don't push me off the steps. So, yeah, I forget how many stories he has it, but he, yeah, see, they use it. They like it. And uh, so that helped to get a lot of villagers. And I cannot go down steps. Um, yeah, I think he added that building, he added this building, this one was here, which is kind of weird, it was like way out in the middle of nowhere, um, and then what I did was I enclosed it, because this is kind of sticks out from where we walled off the city, so it's kind of strange, um, that it was like that, and of course this is grass, but it's in the desert, so it's ugly desert grass, so I might have to go and put some green wool there to make it astroturf so it looks prettier and you'll notice the different colored sheep running around oh yeah I love monkey farm we're using the uh, his version of the John Smith texture packs what I use uh, so we have his little pigs I'll have to change that uh, we have one little mine entrance here oh look he's giving them a flower he's so sweet hey most of the villagers hang out in this part of town now that we built the uh, high-rise um, and that particular building they like to be on the roof and so I was talking about the sheep of different colors. Yeah, we're trying to have one sheep of every single color. So um, we're still working on that. And this is where I made this kind of like the little farming area. Um, so our personal farm wasn't big enough to do this, which is the pumpkins, the melons, and then the uh, that stuff, which name escapes me right now. You know that stuff. Yeah, yeah, nether wart, that's it. Uh, so that was that, and let me just kind of, like I said, have the free range animals. Um, we do have a mob spawner over there, uh, it's just one level right now, and that was a beast to make, um, and it works okay. Uh, we still don't have everything lit up underground, which we're working on, and I try and keep the animals out of there, just because they're annoying. I did have a cocoa bean tree farm thing here. Um, it got messed up, which is why it's floating. Uh, so, uh, so just some maintenance things we need to do around the area. Uh, oh, one of the things that uh, Simi Craft did, which is actually pretty funny, he had this thing about the gravel and uh, Raspberry 2 and I thought it was funny. So every time we went to a cave, we dug up all the gravel. Uh, and so he built <laughs> this gravel house gravel house. It's our storage for gravel. So that's the only thing that's in here. And we had a lot more, but we've used a lot of it up. Um, but he actually made the house out of gravel and it sticks out. He put trip wires underneath so that uh, it supports the gravel of the house. So it's pretty funny. Um, that direction I started to make a little road to go into the jungle. Um, we've gone, uh, if you going that way, you reach a uh, Swamp. So that's where we're getting the uh, the slime balls from. Uh, and you have to be careful if you're too close to the edge because obviously the mobs see you and attack you. Oh, and I just want to point out if you do like have, see we have the stone fencing the whole way around and then we want to put the wooden fencing for this pen. They don't attach and so you know things can just walk right through. So what I did was I put um, you know one regular piece of uh, stone cobblestone and then I put a cobblestone stairway just to make it look a little fancier. You have to have two. If you only have one high the animals can jump over that. Um, so it just, uh, it's not the greatest but it was what I was able to come up with in my little brain. So that's pretty much the village. Um, yeah, it's it works. Uh, we decided since we were so close to a village to go ahead and utilize it which is the whole reason they were put into the game. If you're lucky to find a village and then, oh, I was going to show you the top of the tower. It's kind of hard to see at night, but uh, Simi Craft made it look like me. And uh, he's silly. I think he did a pretty good job. Oh, wrong button. Uh, so let's see if it looks like me. Oh, it doesn't look like me because I have my clothes on. But if I take my armor off 
it kind of looks like me. Although in this texture pack, for some reason, the brown looks like, uh, yeah, the brown looks red. So it's kind of weird. But anyway, that's the village. And uh, so we'll be doing a lot of stuff around here. Uh, and I uh, hope you enjoy Mom and Minecraft. I'll see you next time.